My name is uh, Gilles Dussabe. I'm from Switzerland and Rwanda. And I'm very honored to be part of you. Uh, thank you so much for Bozart to have uh, trust me, first of all. And thank you for Pro Evesa to have sent me uh, in Cape Town. Um, it's a dream, to be honest. I always wanted to be part of a project like that. And uh, just meeting all the artists, you know, it was really amazing experience. So uh, um, I had so many uh, proposals. So thank you, Melissa, for your patience. But yeah, um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a painting, but I'm into photography and I'm a former filmmaker. So I just needed to walk for, and I did a lot of walking. I'm a, a good walker, and um, I just had to walk for eight hours in the in Salt River to understand, absorb, you know, um, and um, kind of just interact with people, feel the place, feel where I was, feel, you know, understand the context, and understand the people. So. After the, the walk, after the first day, I just had an idea. And um, the idea was to actually put hands together to create the sense of community. I wanted to celebrate Salt River people. I wanted to celebrate uh, the colored community. And uh, I've done some research, I've met some uh, South African before coming here and I understood that uh, they went through a lot of discrimination. So I decided to celebrate them and to appreciate the, the shade of brown. Because I don't call um, African black people. I acknowledge the richness of shades and um, as you can see, um, you can see um, nuance. I wanted to create nuance. So it's a kind of poetry. And um, it's about connection. It's about transmission from one generation to another. That's, that's why, you know, there is a kid's hands and an elderly uh, man over there. It's about being together, respecting each other, and loving. And obviously I placed uh, the only woman of the community in the center where everyone kind of protects her. I celebrate women in this piece because they give humanity and she holds knowledge and um, and memories, memories of the community. And we should uh, appreciate this link to the ancestral also, you know, and really little. Beyond her, there is ancestral. And we need to be connected with each of us, with the people that passed away, that's still there. The surface is digitalization. I used uh, um, a high definition camera and uh, that had to be taken in, uh, in the garden. I really wanted to be uh, shooting this piece in a bit the center, the, the core of the community. And it's a very peaceful environment, very uh, calming. And um, with obviously the help of the community, I was able to uh, take this shot, which has been post-productions uh, after, and then print it on this new uh, generation of vinyl which uh, embrace the texture so that's pretty nice you know you have um, this feel when you touch it um, the hands holds her story the hands a feature and um, that's also linked to the digital print um, you know, when uh, we actually do that in a mm -hmm. yeah. uh, phone. Um, so that's why um, I came up with this piece to uh, 
to be real. I didn't want to create a stereotype to come here from my point of view and I just wanted to be as real as possible. So thank you.